trying not to curse. That is sexy. The most expensive fragrance I have ever laid eyes on, $650. share today. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> but it's really kind of embarrassing because at least I'm gonna smell really nice. Girl, do you have a problem or do you have a problem? Black. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have my huge, and I do mean huge, summer fragrance haul. Your girl's been shopping. I'm honestly kind of embarrassed slash excited and not embarrassed. Let's get into it. If you guys want to see all the goodies that I picked up, basically happy birthday to me. <laughs> Summer fragrance edition, then please keep watching. Okay, so I have to preface this video because I know in a video maybe a month or so ago, I spoke about how I decluttered. Well, I've pretty much undone all that work between spring fragrances I purchased and now summer. I have, I think, 12 fragrances to share. And I know you saw the title. I'm a man today. Like, why? <laughs> and I'm at the point where, like, take me, like, is there a fragrance rehab? Because I'm not at the point where I feel like I need everything, but I just, like, I had a lot of fun for my birthday. This is basically what I did, like. <laughs> so that's that. I probably need to go to fragrance rehab. I am back on a fragrance ban. My girl Benita says she does not believe me. I go through spurts with shopping, so when I say I'm not buying another fragrance, if you see another fragrance pop into my collection, I was gifted. Until I start buying fall scents, I'm not getting anything else because I don't have space for these, so yeah. They might be in that Goyard tote because I don't, I don't, it's funny, but it's not. Anyway, I want to start in the order of which I purchased these, so let me focus. Okay, the first fragrance I want to talk about, and by the way, this is going to be a combination of luxury, designer, and niche. I love everything from something that you could purchase at CVS all the way to Harrods in London. Like, if it smells good, I want it. So, <laughs> this first scent I picked up because I wanted Parfum de Marley Delina, which I did end up buying. But I already have Delina La Rose, I have Delina Exclusive, and I was like, do I really need the whole trifecta? Yes. But in my mind, I was trying to not purchase it. So I found Delilah. <laughs> Y'all, I can't make this up. So this is a dupe for Delina by Mason Alhambra, and this is Delilah. Delilah is a very, 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 very strong dupe. Now, she also came with a tassel, but I ripped it off because it just, it, it wasn't giving what the Parfum de Marly fragrances are giving, so I had to just get rid of it. But I will say, this is like 95% exact. Even the bottle, like clearly this is a carbon copy without the price tag. So I picked this up from Amazon for I wanna say like $23. The only noticeable difference for me is that when you first spray this, it's very, very, very strong alcohol. But once it dries down, it's Delina. So if you are looking for Delina without the price tag, but with a sharp opening of alcohol, cause she does exist, definitely check out Delilah. I know everyone is not into dupe fragrances and this is kind of my opinion. I am not afraid of a dupe. Like y'all saw the title. I, I blew a bag on a bunch of fragrances. I would rather not, but apparently that's just what happens. If I can find a dupe that doesn't have an ugly bottle, I will buy it. I don't feel like I need to have the original all the time, specifically if it has better longevity or performance or sillage, something like that. Now this lasts just as much as Delina, so it's straight on. Some people might be <laughs> taken aback and thrown off by the packaging. I didn't mind it, but I still wasn't satisfied. And we will get back to that in a moment. Okay, next baby I picked up. 
the fragrance that started my Ulta debacle, Carolina Herrera, and this is Good Girl Blush. If you guys saw that Ulta debacle video where I was racially profiled and yada, 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 it was all because I went in to try this beauty. This is the newest Carolina Herrera Good Girl Flanker, and this is Good Girl Blush. I basically got this for the bottle. Yes, I did, I know, and some people are gonna think that is crazy, stupid, foolish, what have you, especially for someone like myself who says that they don't wanna hoard fragrance, but I, like, this just reminds me of a ballet slipper with a heel, and you guys know when I was younger, I did ballet for decades, so I needed this. Am I ever going to spray it? Probably not. I actually do not like the way this smells. I remember it being very powdery and rosy and like, mm-mm. Uh -uh. Yeah, it's very tart, rose, fresh, aquatic. There's some citrus in here, there's some musk. But it dries down to be so powdery that it makes my stomach hurt. I do like the opening a lot more than I appreciate the dry down. But like I said, it doesn't matter because she's not ever going to be sprayed simply for the work of art that the bottle is. Ding! My next fragrance, which if you guys have been catching my vlogs, you have already gotten a sneak peek. It is Nishane Vain and Naive. And shout out to my girl AI the Great. She is the first person who I ever saw speak about this fragrance. And I was always intrigued it's always between this and Nishane hundred silent ways but the girls say that that reminds you of black opium which I it just smells horrible on my skin I do like it overall so I picked up vain and naive and honey I've been wearing her I saved the packaging just to show you guys but Nishane always has a lovely packaging experience this is how the fragrance comes packaged here is what the bottle looks like so I thought this had a little story maybe it doesn't but it has this really nice postcard and it has the notes so the notes are bergamot orange rose jasmine cedarwood plum raspberry sandalwood amber patchouli benzoin tonka bean and musk with me this is the most beautiful blind by worthy mass appealing fruity floral to me now this still is a niche fragrance house and i will be honest it's a little boring for a niche fragrance house but i still like it because i don't own many fruity florals i get musk sandalwood rose and raspberry it is a tart rose fresh musk creamy scent. I love this. You guys, look at my dent. I mean, that's a lot for someone like myself who just became an oversprayer, and I think it's only because of COVID. I can't smell as good as I used to, and now I always have allergies, so yay for me. Bane and Naive is beautiful. It's very mass appealing. If you love a fruity floral, you will probably like this. It's an easy blind buy. Musk, sandalwood, raspberry, rose, and I get a little bit of plum. Beautiful, it is a compliment getter. Mm-hmm. The people love this. It is a beautiful fruity floral. Can't say enough about it. I am so happy to have it in my collection. Okay, then the next fragrance I kept to experience with you guys. This is a scent that I received a sample of from my girl Jessie. I will link her channel down below. And when I first tried this scent, I was like, I was almost like, it was a fragrance gasm if you catch my drift. <laughs> this scent was intoxicating. I literally could not stop smelling my arm. Every five seconds I was like, <laughs> I mean, the scent was so beautiful. And then I looked at the price and I, I was looking for someone to sponsor the fragrance purchase because this next fragrance is the most expensive fragrance I have ever laid eyes on. 1.7 ounces and it retails for $650. But thank God for Joma Shop. I will leave Denise Adore's link down below. That's how I purchased this. Also, that's another tip. If I don't have to pay full price, I won't. I know some people are opposed to buying on the gray market. I have had no problems with shopping Joma Shop, and that's how I got this baby for like under $300. Still very pricey, because it was like right under $300, but a deal is a deal. She's always down for a deal. I know y'all hate this part. So this is Nishane Nefs, and you know, just according to the packaging, you already know it's about to be fabulous. Oh my goodness, it gets even better. Oh, can y'all believe that I waited weeks to open this with you guys? I really love y'all. Oh my goodness. 
Talk about a work of art. I'm not one to keep packaging, but I'm keeping this. This is beautiful. It's probably gonna be like a coffin. <laughs> you guys, oh my goodness. How beautiful. Okay, enough of the packaging. I know most of you guys don't care. Me Shanae Neffs, and I am so excited about this baby. Does it come with an insert? If I remember correctly, the notes were like rose oud. I don't know, this fragrance had a little bit of everything. <sighs> oh my goodness. And because I don't have one a scent today, this is gonna be my scent of the day. Mm. Oh my goodness, this is like sweet and peppery. It almost smells like chewing gum. There's something very minty in it and fresh, but it's still like an oud patchouli, like, oh my goodness. This is a very, very, very androgynous scent. Oh, I can see a man just smelling scrumptious in this. It's very herbally refreshing, but still very deep and sexy. It's blended to perfection. Like I almost can't even pick out the notes, but I do believe it has oud in here the problem is I'm gonna have to spray this sparingly because I'm not buying another one <laughs> it just smells like sexy chewing gum and I know that sounds so weird but that's what I get this is like a summer stunner for me I'm gonna try not to wear her every week but I probably will I believe my next fragrance was actually one that was gifted to me Paul reacts is a fragrance connoisseur and content creator and he collabed with Okja I believe that's how you pronounce it, to create his first fragrance called Miss Girl. Here is the mailer for it. So it says, Dear Keiko, I'm so excited for you to experience the Miss Girl fantasy. We love that. Teaming up with Okcha, I've created one of my favorite fragrances, Miss Girl, that smells both floral, like Baccarat Rouge by 40, and sweet, like Lost Cherry. So that was so kind. How amazing does he look? And this bottle is everything, and I have tried it. This is the packaging. So so here is what the bottle looks like. Super, super gorgeous. And I have worn this fragrance, but I will spray it again. So Okcha is a brand that makes dupe fragrances, which I just spoke about. I love a good dupe. Some things cannot be duplicated, but others really can. And especially if you're not gonna wear it too, too much, it's like, just go for something that's more cost effective. So this is supposed to be a cross between Baccarat Rouge 540 and Lost Cherry. I only get lost cherry. Once again, I told y'all what's going on with my nose, so maybe it's just me. If you are looking for a scent that smells basically spot on to lost cherry, I would highly, highly recommend this. I mean, the box is beautiful. The packaging is gorgeous. I love that this is a fragrance that was created by a content creator. I love being able to support people in their endeavors. Like, how cool is this? And it literally smells like lost cherry. Maybe as I wear it more and as the bottle macerates, I will be able to smell the Baccarat Rouge 540. I get a lost cherry, cherry bomb, and I am loving this. I'll definitely have to review this on my Instagram, but if you love a lost cherry, you are going to love this. Miss Girl by Paul Reacts and Okja. Okay, we are winding down. Let's circle back to the beginning. My next scent is actually a gift from AI The Grey. If you guys watched my New Jersey travel vlog, which I will link down below, AI the Great gifted me the Delina Shower Gel, and I have not used it because I like to haul things before I wear them. But this is the Parfum de Marly Shower Gel in Delina. Baby, this is so potent, you can smell it through the box. Like, oh, I can't wait to break the seal and use this probably tomorrow. It smells so beautiful. You all know that I haven't gotten into layering, but this is like a good way, a good introduction for me with layering, body care and shower gels, things like that. Thank you so much, girl, because if you watched that vlog, I also spoke about how I went online, she was having a sale with the site who shall not be named because they screwed up my order. <laughs> and I picked up the original Delina. I thought little old Delilah would be enough for me, but Delilah took the test determined 
Delenn. That was a lie and I needed the original. So now I have Parfum de Marley Delena, Delena La Rose, and Delena Exclusive. And I'm happy to have all the fragrances. Now, what I will say is that this fragrance is leaking. So I believe the company is in the process of sending me another one because it's like dripping all on the outside of the bottle. But Delena is a pretty girl fragrance. It's uh, just so pretty. It's rhubarb and rose and musk. It is so beautiful. It has lychee in here. It's a very, very strong, tart rose. I don't think it's blind by worthy because lychee is very, very tart. I love it though. But this is not gonna be for everyone, but if you love pretty girl scents, you just wanna smell like really feminine and beautiful, this is perfect for you. Now this is not usually my vibe. I usually like to smell a little masculine because I think the juxtaposition with, you know, my outward appearance is just so sexy. But in the summertime, she shines so brightly. So I had to pick this up and yeah. Now I finally have Zelina, the OG, and I'm so excited. Okay, next fragrance is one that I had actually never heard about until one of my girls on Instagram told me about it. Shout out to Perfumes by Kay. I will put her username across the screen. Definitely check her out if you love fragrance. She puts me on to so many things because I'm still learning about fragrance. There are brands that I've never heard of, such as this. There are notes that I've never tried, and I just love being able to discover new fragrances. So thank you so much to you, girl. I know I always tell you I'm so grateful, but thank you for sharing your recommendations with me. Jessie, which her channel is linked down below, she gifted me a sample of Parfum de Marley Saffinade, and I love Saffinade so much, but I wanted it to be to have a little more oomph. Saffinade is a creamy, dreamy, sexy, thick orange blossom sweet scent that I love so much. Its longevity was decent for Parfum de Marly. I loved it, but I wanted something a bit more intense. And like I said, if I can save a little bit of money, I'm open to doing that. So Perfumes by K told me about this scent, Au Pays de la Fleur de Oranger. It's a brand from France, by the way. It is Neroli Blanc Intense, and I actually picked this up using from Abby with love's coupon code which is from Abby with love I believe and I'll put that in the description box as well but this is Neroli Blanc Intense this fragrance came from France but the shipping actually wasn't that bad this is what the bottle looks like when I tell y'all this is one of the most feminine scents I've ever tried. I'm learning that I really, really, really love Orange Blossom. Orange Blossom is like a candied orange vanilla scent. It's citrusy and vanilla and sweet. It is like so, so sweet. This literally smells, oh, I'm out this watering. It smells like dripping candy to me. This has neroli in it. It has orange blossom. It probably has a little bit of vanilla, maybe some white florals, but this is my favorite orange blossom scent. I have tried Sintra from Memo. Mm, that petty grain was like, ooh, it just, it made my nose tickle. I couldn't do it. The reason why I chose this over Saffinade is because this was like half the price. A lot of people talk about niche fragrances and I think some people like the fact that they're more exclusive and more pricey. I don't care about the price. If it's nice, I want it, but if I can save money, I will. So this is a brand that I had never previously heard about, so I was excited to give them a try. The quality of this fragrance is amazing. Now, it doesn't have the best longevity right now, but I think I wanna let it macerate and see how the longevity improves. If you love a sweet, sexy, feminine scent, if you also love orange, Blossom scents like Sundays from Byredo or Sintra from Memo or Love Don't Be Shy by Killian, you will like this. But it's so sweet and yummy. It's not cloyingly sweet, but oh my goodness. <sighs> I can't wait to start wearing this. I'm so excited. Shout out to Perfumes by K and shout out to From Abby with Love. This was also a blind buy. I had never tried it and this was a winner for sure. We are winding down to the end. Let's see, what did I get next? So if you guys saw my most recent Sephora haul, then you have seen this baby. This is Hermes H24. Now in the video, I erroneously purchased the Eau de Parfum and it was way too woodsy and masculine for me. I like a little bit of masculine, but it has to give me a little something 
Mm, that one was way too woodsy, so I exchanged it for the H24 Eau de Toilette. And I actually picked up this off a recommendation from Kyra here on YouTube. This is a men's set that I think is very androgynous. It is very fresh and herbaceous and citrusy and it's a little woodsy but not as intensely woodsy as the previous Eau de Parfum version. I love this. It's perfect for really really hot weather like we've been having here in Atlanta. Just a nice easy to throw on and go scent. There's nothing super fabulous about it. It's not like so unique and amazing and groundbreaking but if I'm just running errands or going to grab lunch with a friend I don't always need to smell like Nishane Neffs. So I'm excited to have this to wear in the really really hot temperature it's perfectly androgynous to me so I love this so much happy to have this and I've already started wearing it she or he is a keeper my next fragrance is one that I also purchased because my girl Jessie sent me a sample maybe like six months to a year ago and I fell in love so this is the first fragrance in my collection from this brand Simone Andrioli and this is leisure in paradise now I am taking a big vacation this year to paradise, hint, hint. And I'm gonna be taking this. This is the only fragrance I know for sure that I'm bringing because it just screams paradise and that is where I'm going. I do want to also say that I picked this up from 50ml, which is actually in France as well. Do not purchase from them if you don't have patience because I ordered this on June 8th and it arrived on like June 20th. Second, I believe. So it took a very long time because it does arrive from France. You can get it for a great deal, but just be prepared to wait. But I had a great experience with them. I saved like 20 bucks, so I was happy. Okay, Leisure in Paradise is a coconut, mm, a coconut vanilla pineapple lactonic scent. Now to me, the initial spray, I get pineapple. Also, the atomizer on this is sick. Do you see that? Ooh, yeah. Whew. Man, I'm trying not to curse, that is sexy. During the initial sillage, when I'm first experiencing the fragrance, I do get pineapple, but on the dry down, I just get vanilla and coconut. And let me tell you, I used to not be a fan of coconut. Now, I don't know what is happening to me as I get older, my tastes are really changing, and I love coconuts. This is the perfect tropical oasis sweet feminine scent. Now this does smell very, very, very lactonic, so if you don't like scents such as blonde, Bet by Liquid Imaginaire. Don't try it because it is very lactonic and creamy. But that's what I love about it. This is another one of those scents where I spray it on my arm. Sometimes I sit this on my nightstand so that I can sniff it before I go to sleep. That is how much, y'all, I'm telling you, they try to make me go to rehab. Like, send me to rehab because all I want to do now is smell good. But this smells so beautiful. This is going to be perfect for paradise. I can't wait to continue wearing this this summer. The coconut and vanilla bomb. It is so beautiful. Whew, not everyone is gonna like it. Some people might say it smells a little juvenile. It's not super like unique, I don't think, besides the fact of it being a lactonic scent, but it is super, super unique in my collection and I can't get enough. Okay, I think we are down to our last fragrance and I am so happy to share this baby because it's another Tiziana Terenzi, AKA Tizzy. <laughs> Shout out to my girl Lavishly Chi Chi when we hung out this past month or last month when you guys are seeing this. She called Tiziana Terenzi, Tizzy. So now every time I see Tiziana Terenzi, I think of that. I have to tell a story. That's why this video is gonna be like 30 minutes, but it's okay because I'm a storyteller. So when I went to hang out with my girl Diva Chic Life a few months ago. We went to Neiman Marcus here in Atlanta. There were two men who were also in the fragrance section sniffing and having fun. We were trying to find a scent from my girl Alicia and we did find one if you haven't seen it. Check out her channel. One of them sprayed this scent and held it up to my nose and when I tell you I almost fell out, it was a fragrance gasm. I automatically knew I needed it but here's another thing. I'm not paying tis 
Tiziana Terenzi prices. They're too expensive. So I also did pick this up from Joma Shop and I will leave my girl Denise Adores link down below. This is Tiziana Terenzi Draco. And baby, when I tell you, Draco is a stunner. So first of all, like the packaging moment, I'm sure you saw it, beautiful, beautiful. It also comes with a booklet that details every fragrance that Tiziana Terenzi sells. So I'm absolutely keeping that. Another thing that I want to mention is that if you look in the base of your packaging, there's actually a travel size cap. The actual cap is so heavy. So this is what the bottle looks like. A beautiful like textured white glass. And here is the top of the cap. This is like a weapon, very, very heavy. This is Tiziana Terenzi's Draco, and this is a peachy, floral, fruity, musky sensation. This is also a compliment getter. When I walk into rooms, people are like, oh my goodness, what are you wearing? Because it's a peachy fragrance, but it's not like super sweet. This is very, very androgynous. It smells amazing on men, but it's a fruity fragrance. The way Tiziana Terenzi blends their musk with their fruits, huh, this is a stunner. So to me, I get like pineapple, peach, musk, sandalwood, maybe a tiny bit of vanilla. It is very, 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 very strong, very sweet, very potent, and very interesting. It's a different kind of peach fragrance. And as a Georgia peach, I just can't get enough of this. So shout out to Tiziana Terenzi. Draco is absolutely stunning. This is, my bottle's a little hard to open. The perfect fragrance for wearing in the summertime when you want to smell very different. It radiates so beautifully on warm skin. If you've been on the fence about purchasing Draco, <laughs> definitely give it a try. And I think I got it for like half off. So shout out to Joma Shop. So guys, those were all the fragrances that I had to share for my huge, massive summer fragrance haul. I will not, mark my words, I will not be buying any more fragrance until fall. I have a lot to work with here. So happy with all my birthday gifts that I bought for myself and I can't wait to start enjoying them and openly sharing them when I share my scents of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this fragrance haul. Let me know if there's anything you want specifically reviewed in a video or on Instagram. Let me know if you've been thinking about any of these. Are you gonna pull the trigger now? Uh, yeah, I'd love to chat with you guys in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.